Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Building Bellevue, where we are trying to build an ultra-realistic city, or I guess town, within Minecraft. So today we are going to build a very massive structure. We're not just going to build this, okay? We are going to get on Google Earth and actually replicate it into the game itself. And it's going to look very realistic. I say this every time, but hey, I never, look, I never let you guys down, okay? I never let you guys down. We're in episode eight and I've been I've been pulling through every single time with the photorealistic builds okay so today all right what we have planned is we are going to build a photorealistic school look man Bellevue really needs some education within the town all right these kids are getting no education the economy's collapsing and we've also had a few comments recommending that we build a school in the town as well now at first I I did have kind of um I guess like a pretty large lot that I was going to actually put the school in, but man, this was not going to be enough space. We needed so much more space for this because I, I kind of underestimated with this build. It's, it's, it's pretty massive, I'm not gonna lie. So we had to find a completely different spot. Now the spot that we ended up settling with is right across the street from the apartments that I literally drove across the country to replicate in the game, by the way, you guys should check that out. So immediately getting on Google Earth, my first idea was I was probably going to build the school that I actually went to but I decided not to do that. I kind of want to save that for potentially an episode much further down the road. So what we ended up doing instead was going all the way over to Texas. This time I did not drive there. We're not driving all the way to Texas, but I, I did this obviously on Google Earth. We went over to Texas and I found this school here, and I, I guess it's an elementary school based on, you know, the title of the school, the name of the school here. And I genuinely think the architecture of this building here fits Bellevue very, very well. It's not super curvy in terms of the architecture. It's very straight lines. It's brick. It's actually two types of brick. And it's just an overall very uh, simple build. And I, I don't know, I just think it kind of fits the area of Bellevue. So I think this is definitely the one that we are going to be building today. Um, very massive structure, to say the least. We do have a lot of surface area to cover. So it's, it's going to be a long episode today, lads. It's going to be a very long episode today. So uh, definitely grab a snack, grab, um, you know, a nice beverage, and um, let's get started. So to start this off, we are going to try to follow a simple game plan, right? And that is getting the entire structure built and then going through at the very end and doing the final touches. Now, I'm not going to lie, most of the time I don't really follow through with said game plan. Um, I end up going completely off course i uh, i get distracted very easily to say the least so who knows we might not even follow that game plan we might get the entire structure built or maybe just fill in sections as we go i don't know i guess we'll have to see so basically we are starting on the right side of the school i felt like this was going to be a pretty solid spot to uh start building instead of building directly from the center it's just it just would have been really difficult to start from the center based on how the build and the proportions are so i think starting from like a corner is probably the best approach for a structure of this size especially that's one of the things that kind of is difficult when you're building like a massive structure it's like where like where do i even start this is such a large build i don't know if i start from the back the side this corner that corner the front the center who knows um you should kind you kind of just got to pick and choose and that's exactly what we did here
coming back to the front section here of the school, we have this kind of like awning or, a, you know, I'm guessing it's what it is like this overpass thing here. Is an overpass a highway? I might. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's just an awning, all right? It's like this thing that comes out, protects these people from, you know, rain and, you know, inclement weather, to say the least, right? Now, this thing is not actually on the school anymore. If we go on Google Earth, you can see that this just does not exist. They must have taken this out. I'm not too sure why they would have taken this out. But uh, we're going to add it in anyway, because I think most schools have something like this. And... I just think it looks cool too, so we're going to be adding this in. Now I'm going to add some people just, you know, for some extra detailing here while we're up here. I'm not going to put the heads on yet. These are just going to be headless folks for now. Um, we will go through and put some heads on these people eventually. I know, I think like on one of my previous builds, I totally forgot to add heads to these people. And we just had a whole bunch of headless people walking around. But we're going to add the heads on these guys soon and um, move on from there.
I'm not gonna lie, the big parking lot, this, it's, it's so weird. It's such a weird shape, you know, it, it, it kind of comes up and then it turns into this circle or something. It's just an overall weird shape. But, um, you know, I said we were gonna replicate it, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna replicate this parking lot, but I am gonna do my own little change to it. I, I kind of want to add my own little twist on it. I might not do exactly how they have it. It's gonna be the same shape, but it's probably not gonna be laid out exactly the same. Also, really quick, I have a video releasing pretty soon, and it's going to cover everything you need to know about this texture pack and the mods that I use, and just how I get my game to look as realistic as it does, and how I build. You know, I'm gonna give you guys some building tips and tricks and everything like that. So, I have a video releasing pretty soon covering all of that stuff. Keep an eye out if you guys are interested. And um, yeah, it should be a very informative video. I've had a lot of people asking me about this. One of my main goals when I initially started this series building Bellevue, first and foremost, it was just an experiment. I didn't know that you lads would be eating this up that much, and I'm so thankful that you guys have been enjoying this series just as much as I've been enjoying making it and, you know, providing you guys with this awesome series here. But one of my biggest goals with this series was that I really wanted to inspire other people to tackle and just pick up Minecraft building because... I feel like building kind of, at least building on YouTube, has kind of seen a little bit of a decline, you know, it's just not super, maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but I just, I feel like it's not really posted that much anymore, and I'm trying to revive it, I'm trying to revive it, I'm trying to get you guys motivated and inspired to do your own builds, because guys, anyone can do these, anyone can build these, you could build Bellevue right now, on God, you could build Bellevue right now, it's, building is very simple. Literally, my biggest advice if you guys want to pick up building, if you guys want to make a realistic town, is very simple. Just start with a, a, a very simple structure. It could be a box. I mean, we literally built a box, like basically a box, how two boxes on a few episodes back, and they came out great. We actually used it for a thumbnail because they looked so good, but yeah, just build something simple and then just go through and just apply a whole bunch of finer details.
and of course we finally added some school buses in i mean do we really even have a school without school buses yeah i didn't think so you kind of have to have school buses i mean these kids need to get to school somehow you know what i'm saying so yeah we finally added these in they turned out pretty nice i think they look really good actually so i went ahead and added some on the side parking lot here and then we put one up front as well Now, 
listen, all right, I know I say this in every episode, literally every episode, probably not every episode, but I know like the last few episodes I've been saying this, I'm always like, in the next episode, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I get very sidetracked and I always end up changing what I plan on doing just because I end up finding something cooler to do or I don't know, I my mind just becomes interested in something else. But I, I do definitely plan on doing the interior of this school. I'm not too sure when I'm actually going to do it, but this school is very large. So it gives me a lot of space to work with. And it's going to be a very long time to actually, you know, get it fully constructed and very detailed on the inside. I mean, we're going to have to put on a lot of classrooms here. A gymnasium, a cafeteria, I mean, we're going to have to cover a whole bunch of things here. But I definitely do plan on doing this in a future episode. I don't think we're going to like show the entire process of me building it. Maybe a few parts, but I would really like to do a tour of the entire school, the outside and the inside when it's fully wrapped off. So it might not be like a traditional Bellevue episode. I'm not too sure how I'm going to incorporate it yet, but I do plan on doing the interior of this building at some given point.
Okay, so now we're gonna tackle the park and, or like, I guess like the playground. And <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea where to start for this thing. I, I've never built like, you know, playground equipment. We started with the swing sets and they came out pretty nice. We used Axiom for the swing sets and they came out really great. Man, Axiom is a godsend mod. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So just try not to laugh at me and try not to roast me in the comment section if the uh, playground ends up looking a little poopy, all right? Try not to uh, try not to say anything about that. I, I, I have high hopes that it'll come out looking good.
man this build came out beautiful man this thing is great this is probably one of my favorite builds within the town so far i'm not even gonna lie it's so detailed it is it's a very large build this is definitely the largest build inside of bellevue by far i tried getting all of the roads down as 100 percent accurately as possible we have this weird road that kind of goes behind the school kind of has like a little weird twist here goes behind the school comes out comes to the other side and then you have like this road that looks like it's a p not too sure why they have that but it's like this p shape and then it comes out to this uh you know the main road here and it says this is the delivery side of the school so i'm guessing this is where like stuff for the cafeteria gets dropped off um you know obviously the garbage gets picked up here as we have these uh trash cans here so now the main structure of this building wasn't too difficult to build in all honesty it was pretty simple the only thing that was tough and that took me the longest amount of time was really going through and touching up all of the details because like i say all the time i get every little thing that i can and that's exactly what we did here we got every little detail that we could to make this look as realistic as possible and to really try to bring this thing to life. I also changed this roof out like 400 times. I know at the beginning when we first started, it was like a lighter color and then we switched it to a darker color and now we're kind of on this lighter color again. But the reason why I switched it is because I had no idea that Apple Maps, literally the maps on your iPhone has a Google Street View. Only for certain locations though. Only for certain locations. This location does not have one. So I did have to use Google Earth to actually get street view of this place. But from like the actual, like, you know, an, an, an aerial viewpoint, it's very updated on Apple Maps. And, you know, on Google Earth, it's not 3D. It's all 2D, it's all flat. It's a flat image. On Apple Maps, it's a 3D image. So it's it was actually really, really useful to use. But the roof is like this metal roof with like these lines in it. And I thought that we kind of needed to change it to that just to make it a little bit more accurate and school looking. The roof that I have on it, or I guess the roof that I did have on it was kind of more like residential, I feel like. So this one, the roof that I have now, the block that I'm using looks very industrial. It looks kind of like that metal with like these lines going down it. So I went ahead and switched it to this block. I just think it looks a lot better in all honesty. 